All right, then welcome to yet another edition of the Checkpoint Sports Show, your weekly sport show where they bring you information about sporting um, events, what they happen inside Salon and across the world. And inside the show today, we get for discuss a lot, but we will get exclusive interview with um, Asan Jalo, we a football player, where they play soccer in Australia, yeah? And we also get Tamba Fode, we na the CEO for SIP Entertainment. Um, Insef, don't they put on into sports business, especially basketball, where then we just end in three on three, um, three town crossover events last weekend. First, share this and share far and wide and join me. Make sure say yourself be part of the show. I go open the phone line later for let yourself have um, a say inside the show. We then take a quick break and when I come back, we go start for talk to we guess them and then go say hi later. On. <laughs> Okay, um, welcome back, welcome back. Like I say, we will also talk about cricket as they don't get their first victory against Mozambique inside the Africa um, uh, World Cup T20 qualifiers where then they play in Rwanda after we then be lost two games consecutively. And same way, so we'll bring you results of the Sierra Leone Premier League as FC Calon beat by Bure Warriors 1 0 this evening at the Sierra Steven Stadium. And yesterday we say we see goal less draw inside the match between FC Wansin and Bow Rangers and Port Authority being win 1-0. All right, then we will go straight to the point and uh, once for welcome, may guess them. Uh, welcome to the show, Asan Jalo. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? My name is Asan Jalo. Okay, um, we also get Tamba. Tamba, welcome to the show from Sip Entertainment. Thanks. Thank you, Magdalene. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hassan, how are you, my brother? I do fine, sir. I do fine, sir. Uh, it's not a good weekend considering what happened in, in Freetown, but we pray that God sure. give the one that we die good road and the one that we hospital to then go get medicine. Um, we then move on I with mean, the show and uh, let's just start with Hassan. Hassan, um, you they play soccer, you know, a soccer player. In Australia, we say soccer just like America, but in South Africa, <laughs> football. <laughs> so, football yeah. Our uh, first, let me start how you come about. Well, because some people can do well, they're small, they want to do athletics, basketball, and all. And in a possible way, get the swag as well. I don't they see you around with the swag. <laughs> so, when people can get the swag, we can see them in basketball. But you with the squad, Actually. you go to football. So, what's impromptive for play football? Uh, well, as, as you know, back home, we'll, we'll be playing a salon. Actually, we will grow up with the with, with the old um older brother there. Now soccer no more nine into this week too. So we'll grow up since, since we started growing up. We just been soccer since then. Um, and it's a game that I I, I like since I be young, and it's something that I'm very I'm very good at. And also, I saw that it 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 um a lot of people are making living out of it so it's something that i, I really enjoy and i love so that's why now i make a, a big soccer so soccer then i then i then i like yeah so which club you currently play for in australia i mean no they call you club in name or you call up what you say no that's right so i'm at the current to play for the um second league in australia now in australia and sydney so just under the elite so um i'm currently playing for happy i like her which is uh, it's, um, quite a big club here. Um, and also the development in, in, in that environment is very, very good, very, very well. And um, yeah, so it, it's one of the top 10 probably biggest clubs in Sydney at, at the moment. So it's very, very, very good. All right. So what is like playing soccer? Like what exactly, what did it sound like for playing soccer as a young, uh, you know, somebody who is very talented? Yeah, it's um, it, it's tough. Um, it, it it's very hard over here because uh, 
there's a lot of there's a lot of talented people here. Look, over at the people level, you get the competition is not, not that easy. So a lot of people here are very determined. They're very ambitious. But um, it's not it's not that easy at all. But you just gotta keep faith and obviously believe believe in your in your ability. And like I said. The one day, one one moment, a coach will see you, and then that's all it takes. It's just that one moment, so a coach can see you, and then um, there you go. Maybe your career can take off from there. And um, that's what Nadani nine nine, the good luck down the road up for me. So, as like I said, it was very hard um, to come up and playing, and all the all your friends around you as well are chasing the same dream. So for me to keep going at this moment, it's a blessing. So yeah. It's not that easy, but we'll keep going. Okay. Um, we go come to you back, continue for stay with me. In name na Asanjalo, a soccer player and na a prolific striker. Somebody where if he get two attempts, it is score one. Na fantastic player. <laughs> and uh, let I come to Tamba. Tamba, um, you that somebody where in the basketball system. But before I go for that, somebody put the list in the show as well at the background and the sound irritating. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I so, don't know uh, for turning down. Okay. So, Tamba, first, tell me what in SIP Entertainment they about. Um. Well, SIP Entertainment is um, Salon Innovative Platform and Entertainment. So, um, we do entertainment, but we also promote um, innovation. We are a marketing and branding uh, company inside Syria. We opened in 2016, um, but for the past uh, few years, just take a break to focus on some other things. Uh, so in a nutshell, SIP Entertainment, they work with um, anyone on any organization where they focus on entertainment and also they promote innovation. All right. So I'm um, waiting to bring this um, free time co um, crossover and waiting for a day about. Uh, well, free time crossover and uh, a tournament where spontaneously just came out of a conversation where I really get with some friends in Kono. And we look all over Sierra Leone and we know say basketball and nice sports where they play, but the attention, the media are focused not necessarily they on basketball. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to get uh, some brothers then with um, the ITAL Media Group and get they able for do audio and visual so we able for um work with them for markets um not just basketball but the individual teams them um we also we get somebody where they work with the empire where then they focus on events planning so besides say, you know, say with three companies them we able um for come together and promote these sports so give them a try and um fortunately it was very successful i will be able to collaborate with um Canon Royals. Anybody who really know basketball necessarily, uh, you don't hear about Canon Royals. Um, and also they will work with we are the biggest. We are the biggest. Exactly. So Canon Royals <laughs> is it's a, it kind of is a very common household name. Um, and we also be work with uh, a gentleman where they run um, an organization called Blycef We in the train with in the train room and them out for play the sports or basketball. So if you go to a stadium. In the meantime, they every Wednesday in the train young ladies on the sports of basketball. So we decided to you know, all the resources they allow collaborate, slow introduce within a free town crossover. Um, we will give people them a chance for watch basketball. Um, the one that we're not celebrating a basketball, give them an opportunity for land the sport. Uh, so and and you know, it's been very successful. Okay, um, like you say, you get the discussion with somebody in a corner. Why you decide for being come in Freetown or like you know start from the that part of the country, which uh, especially when we know say starting sport in then kind side and they it can be great because you get hidden talent. I completely agree with you. Um, but you know, as we know, Freetown is the hub. Um, I have most of the attention focus. Um, and along the line, we'll be to develop this um, free time crossover. We come across teams them way from the provinces where they express interest for me and join we um, in this way and therefore we will depart. So um, we do them um, with the mindset that we not just do them um, in Freetown. Freetown is going to be 
our platform which I will launch, but we they incorporate our different teams them. So we'll get teams them from Kono, we'll get teams them from Kenema, we'll get teams them from Makeni, we don't express interest for um for, for participating with what we they do. And we the plan because you know the weather in Sierra Leone um the only permit we for play basketball uh six to seven months um out of the year. And the other thing is we not get indoor facilities then we will allow you to play the sports year round. So we team we okay. do we are currently um in the plans for Freetown crossover volume two where this time around we did bring teams then from the provinces um for come and compete in the um in the basketball mm -hmm. now. So in the first edition we organized so now able to achieve an objective. Absolutely. I mean if you see how the promotion the day, the exposure where we give basketball to um necessarily on another thing say we don't want to be happy. Um and we've been just so fortunate to get some big big companies then we come on board um with their support we with our shakandas um we then come then provide we with floodlights so we'll be able to day up the stadium up to four o'clock they play basketball um for so we've been say the events not be like a one day event but end up for carry over to four o'clock in the morning uh, due to wow. the facility where we um where um easy solar been provided to we with the floodlights they would light up the the um the stadium then um we've been getting another organization when the ipcs then give we i think about seven kva generator diesel generator with power the entire place um whilst we've been the we've been there on the event um so it, oh, overall the, the 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 event was very much a success in fact after this day why they work on at us and people they say hey Tamba crossover you know now now so people in the identify yeah. so that they, so then they tell tell we say the sport the event was a success and um i think i send you a video where yeah i'll I'll go, I go, I go yeah i'll go do that later so we can get yeah so we've been getting an opportunity for get the woman and compete we've been get a women's game um we've been get um we've been get also division one teams them so we get four teams them we will be focused on way in uh, freetown lakers kennedy nets moridini it's an archibald red flame um then self been compete then we get division two way compete we've been get a dunking contest when at the video i just sent you um and we'll be get a three-point contest so we get the overall night of of basketball of just true basketball and waiting there around basketball and we believe what they do we they create another avenue obviously we brought out the play football which is a great avenue but we believe also basketball can be another avenue for me young man day before you yeah, know make sure. a story and make a change um you know in, in the lives of their family then we believe if we able to do one if one one young man will come with ourselves we go to college they go achieve great things we believe we've succeeded um yeah. with the sport and with me personally i'm a basketball enthusiast i play basketball um basketball has been a part of my life so i did just i know they do i'm i did do i'm one from a business standpoint but also two as somebody that loves the sport um and things say the sports get a great um chance for growth with this area okay yeah like you mentioned say um one or two young men might go out there and play in the past we don't see the likes of toshiba the likes of um yaomi they all left exactly. salon and go america for college and also continue for play the sport and same sure. way so we see a team canon royals few of them been go england as well the likes of james the two james and the other guys them they all been go for go play um one small competition with a big turn back uh we they continue with the shoulder come to asan again um asan like you know somebody where they score like what thing to inspire you where you didn't have the pitch of play especially where you did in front of goal against a goalkeeper or defenders um that is a very good question the thing that inspired, that inspired me the most usually every single time while the play and the pitch um is most of the time at the look at me, me idol them the people away obviously i want i want play like um the people where where inspire me for that like, do the sport so every single time while they play now that I put standing on my mindset, I just think about how badly I want her, how badly I want to succeed, and obviously how badly I know that I want to, I want to reach my goal. So, and here you never know who's watching. So every game has to be 
like a final for you, you know. So for me, every single time I'm I day in front of goal, I just want to make sure, even like you said, one um even a little chance that I get, I have to I have to make sure that it has to go behind the net because now my job done it and now the only way no more way I go strive and achieve my goal by strong. Okay, um, so now, um, how many clubs that you don't play for so far? And I know you are 23 years old, and you must don't come from the school system in Australia because I know how football they are. Yeah. So, how many clubs yeah. that you don't pass through? Yeah, and um, how... so Yeah, so I don't play. I don't. I don't, I don't play for about me in Australia and uh, in Sydney. Um, four clubs. We in our own our first grade MPL one, so which is which is very very good for me for me CV. Um, and during that time, why I don't play in that club? Then the um, my, my stats very it looked very very good. So, um, like I said, it's just a matter of. Um, if, any, anyone they watch, anyone they watch now. So for me, as soon as um, I make sure that I leave my mark somewhere, and if I get a scout or a coach give me a contact or whatever it is, so it's usually just it's a fast paced stuff. Yeah. So every single time, halfway through the season, sometimes um, usually coaches come up to you and approach you to to sign for a club. Um, it just depends of the how good the clubs are. Yeah. So mm -hmm. before you, you did join um your current club when I like us, you be the play for Blacktown um or so. So how you use statistics be there with that yeah. club? You 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 get um like series of goals, series of assists. Yeah, we did talk to Hassan. I think uh we did get some network issue with um, but we go so just before that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Hassan. Yeah. Sorry, man, you cut off. Yeah, sorry, you cut off. I know your question. Sorry. Yeah, I say you when you play for like teams like Blacktown, what do your statistics be look like in terms of scoring goals, assists, and all? Oh, um, so <laughs> I mean a goal scorer. So every time I did in front of goal number, like um, I don't mean to say I'm selfish, but my first my, my first thought is always scoring. So what why be the Blacktown? Um I'll be I i would be injured maybe halfway halfway through and I come back. I only played about 10 games. I scored about six to seven goals. Um, so it was it was very good. It was a very good start for me because it was just a short amount of time. And to score to for, to score that much in that league, um, it, it wasn't it wasn't that easy. So uh it was it was a very, very good start and I'm I'm hoping to keep that momentum and, and obviously more goals coming soon. So, like, one good because like people will watch now, then go on for know the difference between the A League and the NPL because you, I know you're playing the NPL. Yeah, yeah. So the A League and the NPL, um, I've played, I've played, I've been. I don't play at both environments, and the the A League is is completely the. The quality is so much better. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. But the MPLs is 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 not as far off as well. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of boys in the MPL that that can play in the A League, but then choose for let them play normal in the NPL because of them facing them on a more challenge for them. Um, but the A League is more more of a there's not that much of a difference. There's not that much of a difference at all because every single one, every single player where they play both of those leagues. Are both striving to go somewhere, so everyone is on. Everyone is going in hundred percent. So it, it, it's a very tough league. So, um, did you like you get any plans in the future for move from the level we did now to like the A League or even go somewhere else in Europe and continue with soccer? Yes, 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 man, for sure, for sure. So now me now the dream done this at the moment. Now I need to work on. So just make a. Make I see no more. Hopefully, if something happened for me, make I um go play maybe somewhere in Europe. Nine nine they part try for do right now. So right now, I just they part strive and obviously working behind the scene as well for le um I go reach them a good league. So yeah, the aim now for I go Europe for make I go play. If I get early contract here as well, 
I go obviously appreciate her and, and take her but the aim. Now for let me I go oversee because I know for so oversee um a very, very, very it, the intensity is absolutely crazy and it will be very good for my CV as well and for my if just in case I travel anywhere else or like maybe Asia, um anywhere. So if they see your C V that you've played um in somewhere in Europe, it's easy for you to get signed. So yeah, hopefully I get to travel there one day soon. Okay, so um, come back, Chris Tongu. They ask, say, uh, Asan, which division you play in Australia? Um, MPO one, so division one, so just just under the A League. So okay. I just go one step away from the A League, yeah. Okay, um, so let me just clear the A League in Australia is like the Premier League in uh, England. So yeah. in Australia, they say A League, and, and the Championship in England, now the NPL, now yeah. Because in, in England, the second league now the championship, but then they call in second league now at um, the um, National Premier League or so, National something Premier. like that. So the difference is the A League is the Premier League in England, and the National Premier League here is the championship in England. So now the difference that and now the, now the, the um, NPL has and the play. We get lots of other players that will go begin for call them now this show. For make them talk, but today we get Asan. Ask any question you want for ask Asan. A day between at the show and he go answer you. Quick one, make I come to you back, Tamba. Um, Tamba, the the game then, like you say, played till um four. We're very good. I think the only sport I don't watch in the salon ten and morning are the strongest man. Where I be the salon back, I be do the two edition, first two edition where I be MC. For the strongest man championship me and mega juice <laughs> and then after that boxing <laughs> boxing is like a, a tradition in always not net in the app on a salon so can they take sure. for am so um with with age limit like you say when they try for look out for young talents then with age limits when i be able for succeed in make um this particular crossover attract young talented ballers Absolutely. Um, in fact, Seth, one of the um, organization that we they work with, Bly Seth, uh, we just take on a stadium. Then they on the under seventeen tournament as we they speak. Um, and where we've been in a stadium, the reception we'll get from the young man then it's like, when are you guys going crossover again? Um, and will they come home and think? this crossover we want to one put more of a focus on the young people then so i mean overall we're very successful as far as getting the young people in their attention and as you see through the dumb contents where they play i mean it was very very successful we get um prizes we'll give from easy solar um and then we'll be get you know other half half team that will be getting money we'll put at the cup so overall people's attention were drawn um we even been get the minister of sports we've been come we we'll get the ambassador of sports we've been come shadow box have been did it so we get a lot of personalities then within sierra leone we become and can grace the event so absolutely i believe say we're able for capture the attention of the young people then and we look forward to <laughs> free town crossover and volume two. Um, I see Raim they happen. celebrate. I see Raim they celebrate this now. Um, <laughs> Raim Johnson they celebrate the dunk. Maybe he like that one. The Raim not other possibly so passionate and he like basketball. He don't take a very long time in the sport. Um, yeah. So uh, Tamba, one go to listen and say, but uh, why would I not go take this to like schools? like starting from schools maybe primary secondary for tap them young so by the time like you say you can start in sport them in Sierra Leone and they do very well but then centered in one area example cricket now one of the best sports in the country when you look at laurels and um you know quality performance that they give them to the country but they're only based in in King Tom the need for move from that axis for giving the sport a wider um attraction same thing sure. to basketball yeah basketball they try in every area you must meet a court you must meet people they play but like you know get the national um you know kind of attention it's where it needs so why not going back to the schools and tap them young um i love that question um maggie um as i say me and as somebody we uh i learned basketball at a very young age um in fact blyself not they just woke with women then 
they are taking basketball to the schools. So that that's that in an organization who they partner with, we just supports them as far as taking basketball to the schools and also working um, with the women for you know bring them up to speed uh, with that. So we no one to put we hand um for something where somebody don't begin. We just believe that we can give them, or if we say we able add value, we add value to that person there. Uh, we just believe, say, the crossover is something where uh, we want to make them a continuous thing. We want to make them a thing where it's attractive. I believe Una way they out um, because when I was in America, um, I I yearned for content from Sierra Leone. So we believe, say, if we constantly feed the world um, what's in then they look for, then we believe, say, we achieve another set of goals. So we did take basketball to school. But we did take them through Blycef. We na the person where they run them, then don't play for the Sierra Leone national basketball team. Then don't go out. Then don't play in a FIBA competition. Then they are more knowledgeable on how they can take basketball to the schools and then obviously scale them up. So um, we just stay as different companies. Then me they run SIP. I get my brother there where they run Ital Media Group and where they run the Empire. We believe say that support will they give to them for able for bring that exposure to to basketball and Syrian. So indeed, we are taking basketball to the school, but it's still like that. Okay, I will come to you again. Continue for stay with me. Asan, one quick quick question for you from Combai. They say, who is the biggest Sierra Leonean player in Australia, and which division does he play in? At the moment, um, we are to talk to you right now. This biggest Sierra Leone right now would be playing uh, in Australia at the moment, where maybe can say the highest league, A League, even the the National Premier League as well. So in the A League right now, I can't think of any Sierra Leoneans that's playing, but I do know a few um, half Sierra Leonean boys that lives in um, Adelaide. But in Sydney at the moment, if you're thinking in maybe MPL, I have to put my, I'll probably put my hand up there. I'll probably play with more one of the biggest leagues here in um, Australia as a Sierra Leonean. Okay, yeah, we get Asa, we get other players, and but Asa do, yeah. do justice to himself. He <laughs> I myself. He's supposed to. He's supposed yeah. to. I've been waiting for me. I've been waiting for me to blow up on that question. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Um, continue for stay with me. Let me take um quick one. Well, with the issue where up on Salonia yesterday, we saw we see incidents where we take lives of Salonia with the gas tank where we explode, where we see flames of fire being you know being caused disaster well people let me say the spot business not alone non they send condolences message and one person we been do that as well now steven cocker the defender we be don't change in nationality from um english to Sierra Leonean after we well if we don't get caps for england he played at the olympics for the great britain but also play for teams like liverpool tottenham Hotspurs, and more and now it they play na um, Turkey, who saw yesterday also score in first goal for in club where they play for. Stephen Cook have been get for send this message to people. Um, but before that, we see message from Cambo Eagles and other people inside sports. Thinking of all of you, um, it's absolutely tragic what's happened, and my sincere condolences for all of you who have lost family members, who have lost friends, um, those of you who are injured, those of you who are mentally and emotionally affected by the, the, the oil tag explosion. And um, I want to pray for you and I want to send this message of, of hope and love during this difficult time and to let you know that I'm behind you. Um, the whole team is behind you. We're meeting up later on this week. And um, I know together we will come together and, and unite as a, as a country was does during, during times of difficulty. So um, stay strong, stay blessed. And um, yeah, my, my. All right, uh, that's now waiting. Stevens being get for say, where we serve one for continue for say, make the family members that we are affected stay strong and make uh, God give um, mercy. 
or the one that we get um we injured badly get medicine we go able to mend them and the one that we don't die make them soul rest in perfect peace well uh we will continue with the show and um uh, i will come back again to me guess them but let me just take another news quickly as we talk about Sierra Leone players in abroad one of the players where they play for vanamo yesterday inside being beat um El Simborg 3-1 and in the open the score sheet for inside when I IFK Vanamo with na Victor Moses um Christian Moses pardon me Christian Moses na is Galonia and he been score inside the 50th minute of play as na they be beat three goals to one in ball in till Magasi I've been so green Nick, och det är mål! Det är mål för Värnamo! 1-1! Ett inlägg som verkligen prickar huvudet. Och eh, Värnamo har kvitterat från att ha haft ingenting i målchansväg. I avslutsväg så gör han mål där Moses. Mm, vi har berömt varandra mycket under detta året och just de här passningarna, lite svåra passningar, vi hade en tidigare som inte var med på reprisen, jag tror det är Filip Larsson som drar upp den upp på Wendersson och man hittar in i mellanrummet där och sen hittar man ut på Albin Sundgren i detta läget som eh, hittar in på en mm, eh, relativt omarkerad får vi väl ändå säga. Varnamo spelar som såklart gör det skickligt men här är också viktigt om man ser det Helsingborgs ögon att man tar upp markeringen och upp spelarna som finns inne i boxen ligger så pass tight. Okej, ja okay. fall... yeah, that, that indeed was a fantastic goal. It was a fantastic goal scored by um, Christian Moses. Well Christian don't play a great goal inside the season for Varnamo. As then they're on the verge for win the championship, then we don't promote already. They don't promote to the, the top tier league in Sweden, where they instead with the playing at the second league, but now they don't promote to the, the top tier league. And now then just try for seal the championship um record as they only get two more games to go. And then be they lead the table and opt in out the lead. So it's a good one for Christian and one for congratulations. And hope say then go lift the trophy by next week when go play the other match. Congratulations for a fantastic goal. And like always, you go see quality highlights of players on this show. And later on, we will give you updates or roundup of how we players and play around the world. Now the page, follow the page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also follow me on Instagram at Max Tribune Media Platform and on Twitter as well. All you get for know about Salon Sport, you will get from this platform. Well, let's like, come back to Asan. Asan, you get a lot of questions. Somebody they text from your phone and they say, um, Asan is a very young player. What I want to know is if he has any intention to play for Sierra Leone Australia one day. That's a great question. That's a great question. Um, <laughs> it will be for me. I've always, I don't always dream about. Obviously, from my begin play soccer, I can uh, we I know more about the system and the development and all that. Where they go now. Um, I always say to myself, see, for I go play back in Salon. It will be one of probably one of my biggest highlights career. Me, um, it probably in my life. So, hundred percent. For them to represent my own country, then they will be first priority for sure. Um, as much as yeah, we're not stay right now, but Salon and my home. So anytime, like I said, I'm I'm willing. I'm willing to obviously if if I get the call up, it will be one of the biggest blessings for sure. And I I'm I'm willing to play for Sierra Leone 110 percent Okay, uh, I mean, also don't show the um phone number if you want for call and ask ask an entamba question. You can call on this number and have you say let's just show the number on the screen again you can call on this number and have you say as well and uh, we will put you on here yeah. but um, in the meantime as i like you don't say yes you're willing for play for salon i asked you this question because we see the same thing to steven just now steven be the play a play he actually got a cap for england and also then can go to the olympics in 2012 we play 
for the Great Britain. But you look at them, say, for a very long time, only one cap, and you also know Sierra Leonean national. So he decided for switching in, in, in nationality. About uh, one month ago, he was with a team in Morocco where he play the friendlies. And, you know, despite his age, but he decided to let him wear the green, white, and blue. That's why I asked you that particular question. So um, let yeah, me look now at, yeah, yeah, at, at the team that we can inspire you apart from football waiting next waiting as one of the things that you can do um most thing i can do is uh music inspire me a lot um i, I listen to a lot of music then i think we foresee every single time we are in a tight corner we something <laughs> they go right for me now yeah it's always it's always a, a go-to just so that um i can get my mind off it so i can reboot myself um also just just going for runs <laughs> doing doing other exercises just besides soccer sometimes get my mind just so that i can get my mind reboot again so that um i can still focus but just just the stuff yeah usually it's either at, at the walk or usually go just go do workouts it's actually okay. get my mind just focused during that time yeah. and martin they ask say asan usa you begin your football career Ah, uh, we we'll begin. Uh, we we'll begin. Um, I begin play from salon, obviously. Uh, I, 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 as a young age, I begin play for one local club. Again, I we we uh, it just they call a normal Bankstown. Now still, now still NPL, still National Premier League. But um, now that now that begin my career. Now they now they um uh, coach them begin see me. Um, from there now they I move up. You know, the ladder to go to at the play first grade at the moment. But on the end, I probably banks down. Now they are beginning my career, which is actually MP1 as well. Okay. Um, Fode um, Kamara. Shout out to Fode Kamara. Fode now also a football loving person in Australia. I coach and he did do very well for bring up um players then. And uh, shout out to Emmanuel, Florence, and all the ones that watch me, Kamba, Martin, and Amadou here all the way in Italy. Amadou here. Now, now one panelist not this show, but the balance right now. We get our also with the following and all. We 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 get a lot of people out there following us, and some people also the text. So uh for they say, so from what I know, this young man is one of the best players in New South Wales, Australia. And you please for one of the best team, I think he mean plays for one of the best team in the states. Um so uh the difference what's not the difference with the state league and that of the national league the state league and the national premier league yeah um it's not much of a difference to be honest. uh it, so the state league so if you're thinking about the state league which which they just they under um the national premier league there's it's basically some of the player that we where they don't play um let's say a league and they're just looking at, at the age where they're probably thinking of maybe retiring and stuff some of them that they go play that state league which is a very good competition as well but the national premier league is just completely different level because you they get some players where they come overseas as well whether they come travel in australia whether they play another league there and and it makes it makes it much more 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 competitive so yeah um you get a lot of fans out there but this message they come for tamba tamba this person say i like basketball so much but it's like the national federation a bit. the national federation not they do well for improve the ball as them can you imagine in sierra leone players them the organized league waiting una gets for do as stakeholders in the game for make sure say we get a specific time where it will be a seasonal purpose for playing national basketball instead of clubs then they get a normal and play in a western area just like the premier league na salon this na um aruna na instant this one uh yeah. thank you thank you aruna for the question a fantastic question um i believe say what we they do way now for begin this gala um now for introduce um the game and we as a company we now a bunch of organizations then we don't identify a spot we need uh some form of investments and we they put we on um raw cash into it 
um we believe say with the obviously in sierra leone it's pretty much difficult to do anything without involving government institutions so now make we don't begin for discuss with the minister on sports and in fact we've been very pleased the way they go on and the ambassador when at junior bio he said that somebody when i basketball lover uh, we believe say if we will catch them people them along with some um you know some private organizations them like easy solar within any day um then we go able to make this thing uh a continuous thing yeah. this itself has free, okay. has free town crossover yeah, once made this thing be um why let this thing be continuous we know i just do a one day and it stops i enjoy okay. basketball so me if we do every week self he left they left they left to the team and to the coaches um because we as organizers then we are willing okay so we get a caller on the line good um evening at salon and good morning from australia um to you martin welcome to the show yeah um, good good evening maggie and good evening to the guests in the studio um Lena martin they make a very good contribution towards the program this evening really um i was three sad incident with apple um, best study in a Syria, you know, really, like, you know, you don't left a whole lot of um, tears and people in eyes. We pray that God will um, give them good wood and God will get them paradise. Amen. Amen. Well, for the young gentleman at this video, um, Asan, um, I really like the follow up. I they listen in and talk with the talk, really, um, they're really impressive, so to speak. I don't if you like them with the show, if only. They will continue that again a few years um, like a chance for but playing then um then leagues and the years you cannot be exposed so me i want to know if he really gets agents really like you know push out school because it's not one of the key problems about you playing know, players you know can get agent they really really good channel them That's like true. it will expose them come here it will not talk like with them at the end of the day he's 23 now you never can tell probably before the year they run, probably is 24. And time they go in during all the other maybe tell them. So, I, that, I really ask Musa in starting football career and how best it was developing set, um, in the game of football. Okay. How best, um, sorry, sir? I say, um, if you get agents and you want to know, you start a football career and how best you want to move on. Thank you, Martin, for calling. Sure, sure. Yeah, um, welcome. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, right now, I talk right now, um, because of after I finished my, my season, I did send out my video. So I do I, I do have someone who will look after me at the moment. Um, we basically, they, they monitor my career and, and just to make sure that I'm going the right way. So, uh, and having an agent as well, it's it, in order to easy thing as well you need for able to trust them very very well because here actually in australia <laughs> they can have an agent it's not it's not to the not to the simple thing i don't know no more they do maybe something for you being being at the time nine and nine are nine are the probably main issue so some of them they can say yes we will sign you whatever but then at the same time you can't you don't do nothing unless you go and make that move yourself so that's not an enemy if i do this whole time so as much as yes i do i get agents but i tend to go out of my way as well and trying to because it's my career end of the day so i had to go out of my way and actually pursue it more and in knowing about where i started if you want if you have questions if you start starting your career like i've said before now banks down now they have now they um banks down which is the same and national premier league so i'll be begin play this since i was 15 years of age and they look after me there until i was 18. so after that day and they, yes, they, they look at me after, after that okay and I said, we asked about obviously how i want to take my career and the next step okay um we get another caller hello you name and who side you call from hello uh, magdalene this is emmanuel calling from sydney okay Manuel, go ahead and make your contribution yeah maggie first and foremost i want to extend my condolences to the families and back home for short a disaster where happened our country 
um, so sad in, but it is what it is for now. And we pray that the family and Gufen will forget courage and waiting to happen. And I want to talk first and foremost to Asanjolo and extend congratulations as one of the African brothers in Aya. We really do, do extremely well in terms of soccer. And to be sincere, and I pride for make you see somebody we belong to the green, white, and blue able to put football for your country up there. We don't see other nations like South Sudan and the like, and Congo, the way the communities and the rally around the picking them for make their own football career than go before. But it's so sad in like, for we country like Sierra Leone, we go other stars and where we don't able can know. See, so don't play football at like this country, but yet still not able to go up to the lights the way you don't go. So as an a big congratulations for you and I want to make you keep it up, not feel discouraged, and continue for push and believe so one day you go reach that peak the way you want for go. Thank you. But thank my key you. question to you, Asan, I want for no waiting your motivation towards this game of soccer. Because we know say in Australia, the government know they put better money per football. Then they focus more on cricket and other things and then the rugby league. But yet still you choose for play football. I want for no waiting to motivate you for do that. And secondly, well, we all know, would I don't be one of your worst defender ever when you don't play against inside the league? <laughs> you are telling me to the low end. Now, that's a good question. But um, <laughs> what did it motivate me? Um, uh, like I said before, it's just all about my how badly I want to well, make well, it. Let me put a lot of because we know what it means to reach that level. They one almost so cook and they don't get them for me to reach that level. They do, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man, I can't, I can't hear you. You can cut off more smoke. Yeah, go ahead and answer Emmanuel's question. You get oh, Emmanuel, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in my, in my so, well, uh, to be honest, I haven't come up against um, a defender that, that made it easy, easy for me. For me, every game is very hard and very, like, it's a final for me. So, uh, I can't really give you an answer to that. But if, if, we, if you want me to tell you what to do, drive me and obviously keep going. Um, like I said before, it's just me for me. I don't, I, I, I don't set me goal them. We every single day what they look at ourselves okay, and need to reach this goal. So and that comes down to even making my parents proud, making my family proud. Um and obviously make them take the most that I can for myself. So for me I done the nine push me make I go forward. Just me goals what I don't set and look at where I'm where I did right now and just to compare how far I am from there. So if I'm far, I obviously know that I got to put in the work 100%. And if I'm close, it means that I'm close and I have to pull even more harder so I can get where I want to be. So that, that's what pushes me. So he asked another question about the, you know, like other sports, the way they get more support from the Australian government. If you think about the 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 NRL, the um, cricket, another one there, but not much in soccer. Soccer is more like... I'm being pioneered by immigrants, people that will come now they're more than to soccer in this country. So um waiting can motivate you for keep going. Um to me right now, to be honest, what right is left? We we are start this journey, not to me one. I began a couple of friends that we obviously they all want the same dream as well, where we all be the strive as well. So even for me from school, the people who they don't supply. All right. Oh, we keep talking to Hassan as he did with me now. Get the, the ambition yeah. for it. I reach me good. Um. Yeah. yeah go ahead. So, yeah. So they can like they can't and they all. Yeah, they can't and they all. And they really push me because since we be we be young, people them they just see no more like because me I not be known for say obviously the way I play, the style of playing. It was something that a lot of people enjoy to watch and people like. So it was just once I start getting that feedback 
and obviously getting that 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 okay keep going you know you still got this no matter what so for me it was just this, this little stuff that keep pushing me and then it makes me really really want to make it because seeing like where uncle um where emmanuel is still this whole place you now it's really like uh, it's not that easy it's more cricket rugby and all that so a lot and, of young boys then in, in australia i understand from my findings that people pay money for play soccer instead of they pay yes. you but you pay money to play soccer if you want to be that good and rich mm. up there you, you gotta spend over 50 to 100 thousand dollars for bill your career 110 percent. yes that's true um as a youth here coming up with the age of even as soon as you start the age of 18 16 you start you have to pay so they, they charge you for they actually play for they, i mean for they, you play for for a team here so the youth you really that's why a lot of them they stop for them for for, um, for they stop for play because they, so after time the parents say they say okay this is too expensive or um you might not even go too far so why am I supposed to make I will spend this much money because now I make me I'll be I will say like very I was, I was very um lucky in a way and also thank God for that day because at the age of 17 that's when I made my early my um I mean my first grade debut so once I once I was in there and me I no need an an office since then so it, it was all good but looking at obviously my other friends they already come up a lot of them they don't quit because of that day. They don't quit because of they not get somebody with a push and they not get that money or they not get that support. So you know it actually very very hard now. You just have to have a strong mindset and also just make sure you believe what you do and keep going. That, okay. That's basically you have to do. I will come to you back for talk about your food style and your nutrition and all. But like come to Tamba. Tamba, waiting next for Free Town crossover. Waiting next. Waiting at the look at now in the next few months. Um, well, we are in preparation for uh, Free Town Crossover Volume 2. Uh, we the hope say this time we will host up now the YSC, um, where we want to invite teams from outside the shores of Sierra Leone for come and compete against uh, some of the best players in the world. Yet. Um, we the hope for uh, continue this thing on a bi-monthly basis, but for now, we want to start on January, we do volume two, and then from there we're going to do it every month. Um, the goal is uh, to not just do free town crossover, but we want to add on infrastructure, we want to improve the infrastructure. Um, basketball courts in Sierra Leone, they're all on deteriorate. Uh, it goes from side and self, the basketball courts now, 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 good. Now, wood women, they don't take, they don't knock, knock them, and they put it together. And we believe um we need for start first for um work on the infrastructure so we go like how they put last person we say we're not going to just host basketball tournaments in the west we want to take them to the four corners of sierra leone uh so in january to uh free time crossover volume two uh we they make them an open competition and we they you know we they continue for push until basketball gets the name where it is at and salon can stand up with the Senegals and Nigeria for send players them overseas and uh, for compete on the world stage. So, so for now we are focused on going to for bringing international clubs them cost a lot. So I wanna go for go about for finance this or for fund the whole project. When I go get any kind of collaboration with the the National Basketball Federation. Absolutely. Um, we they plan for do a bunch of collaborations, but first with we main sponsors them. Um, we believe to main sponsors them be able for support to be uh, for for bring the teams them in. I'm um, interestingly about two days ago I watch a commercial on DYV and I see Sierra Juice. Then they use basketball as the theme of the commercial. Now tell me if I did that. I said mm. I say see basketball don't begin gets that 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 traction they need. Uh, so we believe we'll do full term crossover volume one. We only had one month. Um, and the resources we'll be get, the belief we'll be get, the work ethic we'll get between the team, we're able to pull them off. So um, if we do crossover volume two, we will not forget about two to three months. Then we believe that to bring teams then um, from out, for, for lodge them, for take care of them, 
uh, it's probably um, a minute thing for us. Uh, nothing is minute, but we have to one. So uh, we, we okay. are going to do it. All right, um, I will come to you before we say goodbye. Let me just take a few uh, more news. Cricket, um, one of the sports they really do well in the country. And quite recently, then we go to Nigeria, play some series, and now then they are Kigali, Rwanda. Well, inside the competition, they will lost two games, but then come back strong and win against the opponent, win at Mozambique. This is how things will look like as one of the players being get for win player of the match inside that particular one day. Okay, uh, well, that's now um, cricket, as we all know, now one of the best sports in the country. And then he always do them best, even though they fall short this behind them. But like I said, they win the game where we see Captain Lance and Alamin be lead the side where they been get for win by five wickets against Mozambique. Well, the team go continue inside the tour and hopefully we go see um, them go play against Cameroon where it will be the fourth um then fourth game inside uh, the tour. But um, before that, uh, we, we, we don't talk to people that in a cricket. Well, we they get issues of corruption and other things, but that's go can later on this show. But today, we want to congratulate the boys then for their brilliant performance against Mozambique and hope say they go take that uh, attitude and um, you know that kind of comportment for face the opponent way in Cameroon. Well, in terms of cricket in West Africa, I think Sierra Leone is strong. It's 15 hours. Than the Cameroonians. So we they move on at the show again. The Premier League. Well, let me just take um, information about the Premier League. The Salon Premier League they continue, and today we see. FC Calon continued in good form as them beats the opponents where na where where na by Bure Warriors by one goal to zero and the player where been get for score for FC Calon na Asan Mila Koma na in be score the only goal and yesterday Port Authority been win by one goal to zero against the Monsters where they struggle na the league and same way so FC once in been draw. Um, 0 0 with Bo Rangers at the National Stadium. And um, the league they continue tomorrow. We will see um, a match we will play between Easter Lions and Slifa. And the big match of the weekend will be that of Cambo Eagles, where we will host Usum Stars from the north, now the Eastern Province. Well, that's now a big, big match we get for play. We all say that match will play without any, any, as we know, them team, then they, who <laughs> don't know, you know. <laughs> so, um, so far, so good. Eastern Lions still they lead with 32 points. They don't play 15 match. Boring just the second, 16 match. They don't play and then get 32 points. Then Lions they um, at the same point now, though they don't play one match ahead of Lions. And FC Calon they third with 28 points. Wusum Stars 27 points. And you get Central Pirate with 27 points. And um, we all know well Diamond Star they struggle, so Diamond Star don't threaten for sack then coach according to the rumor they get. They don't threaten for sack coach Ia Lebi, where they can call Lobilo. 
Lobilo, they went for firearm because the team did not perform well at all. And rumor they reach, we say they want for replacer with Tito Cole. Well, we they look forward to that and see how that go look like. Maybe that monster go act fast, uh, fast before Manchester United sack Ole before we we all we the Manchester fans <laughs> we die by part. Me not they watch Manchester game again. I don't resign for that notice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Una look what act fast because Ole, Ole Manchester look like I was stuck in a lifetime contract for him. They sat in company, but he still let the pamper him. All right, there. then we move from that quick one inside football as well. Um, where we want for which we brought her all the best as it go for trials. Nah. FC Porto, we all know so FC Porto yeah. now one of the biggest clubs them now the world when it comes to Champions League. Then they always represent Portugal and also they're not Champions League holder, which Arsenal is not. I don't say people not vex if in Arsenal fans, but <laughs> Arsenal is not big. So <laughs> even we we neighbor the way between the Man City, they don't get Champions League, but FC Porto get. So we brought away now Abdul Razak. Conte, what we can call Piola, a fantastic defender for um, Eastern Lions, and he also they um, they play for the national team. We see he don't wear the Lyon star jersey a couple of times. He don't get an opportunity for go showcase himself. They say can't try. I know if Asan self get that kind of uh, facility then now. <laughs> can't go there. We go square and have to get the contract. So Abdul ah, Razak, we wish you all the best. We hope say so you go go Portugal yeah. and. Proof for say players and then a salon and just open the way for other players them as well. So it don't go on trial and we will wish them all the best. That's all the news we got for you for today. Quick one to my studio guest them. Um Asan, somebody be asked about your nutrition, your food system. What thing they make um they keep you tough in the game? Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, my mind is so my mind is always the cook yes before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, now before game, so it just depends on the timing. So it depends what usually what time I have the game and stuff. But yeah, I tend to eat maybe like three hours before game. And usually it's just um a lot of, like caps, something that you would, would obviously make sure say it's sustainable body way onto maybe even evening because most of our games will be playing uh, na, na even till we play so me i tend to eat just rice which keep me and then before the game i'll probably have something small like banana and then um uh, that's that's probably what i do before game and okay. then for recovery i just usually go um a lot of stretches um and also i ice bath 100 percent. that's that the go-to ice bath usually always help Okay, so Vandy, Saha, and our other fantastic youth coach in Australia, instead of the duel in the game. It is say, Asan, what is your drive for the Sierra Leone team if you do get an invite? Do you have any intention? Yes, 100%. And that, like I said before, in, in, in the first lot of questions, it is a dream. So if I if, if let's say I get called for the um international team, me drive hundred percent for score goal then. For goody, obviously make a statement, should and say obviously me being there it's worth it and um do me job. Me job as in scoring goals every single game. So for me, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm striving for. So if I get the call, I know for say being being at the go in for let I go do the job. Which is what I'm going to do, hundred percent. Okay, so Tamba, um, Emmanuel say, dear Tamba, what is going on with the park basketball in Sierra Leone? Is there anything like park basketball? I think, uh, I think it uh, referred to the basketball court within a Victoria Park, if I'm not a mistake. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's another basketball court um, where we have to identify we need. Um, some form of inf infrastructural upgrade. Uh, so, I mean, it's open. I mean, I can pass by Victoria Park. Um, so, I think it, I think it's open, but we're not a user currently. Um, we okay, so another question we come for you. Um, they say that come from Combi. Say, um, how difficult it been be for organizing crossover within a month? <laughs> 
Uh, well, it was difficult. We we get for I mean, like some of us not been too savvy at uh, the teams. Um, so we've been there for calm around for savvy the teams. Then obviously we've been get a lot of audio visual we've been going to um into promoting the show. So we get for travel to the east, uh for go take the two teams then the 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 bios so we get for Canada West, we get for Canada studio and organize, we get for meet with sponsors. So I mean, it, it was difficult, but it was a, it was a, it was a necessary fun um, activity we will do. Where at the end of the day, I think say we'll always be involved um, in organizing the show. We were very happy and we we're very pleased. Okay, so Asan, with you football career now, how many goals? This is not a question where they come from. Um, Ishmael, how many goals in total you would think say so you don't score? Like from when you start your professional football? Perfect. Um, yeah, it's a good question. So in my MPO um, profession, I played 90 games. And I, all, out, out of that 90 game, I don't score 49 goals. 90 games, 49 goals. 49 so, you know, he divide the goal. He divide <laughs> the goal and the match. <laughs> that's a fantastic That's about, that's about one and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One goal. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. right. That's exactly right. That'll but be you fantastic. can get better for sure, 100%. Oh, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. But, but me, me, uh, me, uh, me. We got three competition where they can start, eh? Yesterday we salon team, we play friendly match, we play Zimbabwe, we got two two. But we we had with team, not so all we play they'll be pool. So on an officer because we got two two that's right, and we we'll get players. So as I need to play for we in a play for Cape Vard. So we add with players them. We got players that they come from interstate, so that they can join so we add them for now. Well then cow go show now. As I now you been win the golden boot last year. You yes, when it comes yes. to salon, national salon, you know me player. But when it comes to this African Cup, you know to me player. You know so, player. Pull, <laughs> yeah, with a pool player, with a guy win the golden boots. Yeah. So why are you nah, not impossible. play for salon? Why you not play for salon? Why you not play for salon? Why you not play for salon? What to make I not play for salon? Ah, yeah. to be honest, you know the area I grew up, um, the boys the wooden did it. Now they organize this team here, you know. Um, and also these are the boys way for say we all grow up together. So we just come out as together and they say, Let's make this team here. And that way the because Sierra Leone team, to be honest, is what it Sierra Leone team was stacked before. And now obviously they they're having a whole new development and bringing a whole new equipment and stuff, which is very good. But for me right now, the moment is just all, all about loyalty. So I'm gonna. Uh, that's why I just stay with the with the boys and from from Parramatta ends and just Cape Vard. <laughs> so yeah, at the Cape moment, Vard. that's why that I make the play for Cape Vard. Yeah. And and funny. <laughs> but one day, one, one day for sure. One day for sure, they come home. Eh? Ah, they come home. We'll where a big team manager. <laughs> When I be team manager, they pull in a van in hand. <laughs> exactly. When you become team manager, just call me no more. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but seriously, now Una will they play first game. Sierra Leone will play Cape Vard in the in the first match. So I know Sierra will be a tough one for we all, but we have ah. a wish we serve the best. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, Tamba, before we go, waiting will be a wrap up message to we review as them. Um, uh, um, thank you for we when I don't give we when I my, my, my attention. Um, we they continue with the free time crossover. We they, um expect we fumble them for put time on the week, just like how they put time on that football. May we give you smart them another opportunity uh, for explore. And uh, we they look for people and we believe in we too. They do for join we. Um, in this request for make basketball a very common sport in Australia. So I would like to tell you, thank you uh, for inviting me on the show. It's like a great opportunity um, for use your platform for, you know, spread out your message. And I also would like to wish my brother and son uh, plenty, plenty success. I am quite sure somewhere down the line, I uh, will see I'm playing for the big teams and uh, you know, continue the good work. I will definitely link you up. We're going to talk. Thank you very much. 100%. 100%, sir. Let me know anytime. All right. 
Thank you, Tamba, for joining um, us today. Now, the CEO for SIP Entertainment. Well, they're not only doing to sports, but then they do entertainment as well. And for sports, then they help people as well. Like you add, um, um, Tamba, I don't know for America, but in Australia, it costs a lot of money for becoming a superstar in sports. I know of that. I know of a parent where I be there to when I just cry that they pay $2,000 for their kid every month for training. Sure. Yeah. And you, know, you know, that, that was quite shocking to me to hear her son say, um, you know, they get for pay for playing that sport. Um, exactly. You know, it, it's quite shocking in America, and like, like a completely different thing. In fact, America, they get the sports in the school. So normally, then they call me students athletes, right? Land mm. they play sports. Um, yeah. But, uh, it was very much a learning experience for me. For no say, Australia is quite a bit different. Um, Salon, we said the sports is free. Football, like free sport, you can find team, you identify with the team, you begin go practice. Same thing with basketball. Uh, we know they charge nobody. At Blycef, the people that really run basketball, Nasir, you meet these guys at the stadium. I'm telling you, these guys are dedicating themselves to teaching the next generation of kids basketball for nothing. And, um, you know, I believe, say, if we family and they look at this, then they should take up. Um, advantage of it whereas in australia they pay you know if not to god by body power and asani in, 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 in drive and in will for succeed then i don't know outside the day so exactly you know, so exactly you know. right <laughs> <laughs> okay you. so asan what's going to be your message to you you fans them and also for the first time sierra leoneans the way they see you as a player what you go on for say to them and you dream for sierra leone Ah, uh, first of all, I just want to say obviously thank you, Auntie, for let um for let you put me on this show like where Tamba be said before. It's a great way for let obviously we introduce ourselves to the country as well. They're going to know that who that who that will be. But um obviously my message for us saying uh thank you for everyone for for listening. Um I know a lot of a lot of you guys then begin a lot of question them. Thank you for actually I uh, hope my answers help. And I hope you guys understand what is going on around at the moment. So, especially in the soccer environment. So, my message to everyone would just be like, um, Chile, the the Sierra Leonean people, um, I, I'm willing to hopefully one day go back home and um, obviously share that love and share that respect and everything to you guys. So, one day, one day, I hope that that can happen. And obviously, good luck to you, brother, as well, Temba, with the whole um thing we do the basketball to we do in our salon and they're very very good you know that strive there i hope a lot of people over in our salon as well then they can take that advantage there for their obviously help you out make them push them more because the more people the more better you know exactly. so yeah i just want to know more yeah i just want to know more thank you for for everything i appreciate it man okay well, well this now so the episode for today go end i know say a lot of people can miss out but they can watch later on on youtube and facebook so um also share this page and also share with youtube channel follow me it's all about sports there's no politics on this because <laughs> we know <laughs> so we we get we own way for entertain we self and our sports we like so we choose sports exactly. so this yeah. program mainly focus on sports one one term we can talk about we we artist them we hip hop because sports <laughs> and music they both <laughs> <laughs> but it goes hand in hand. It goes hand yeah, in hand. basically, yeah, I I, I wait time but it's all about shadow box. I yes, I know I you know I didn't miss basketball so much. You can ask um um you the uh cargo I didn't miss basketball so much. We don't use for spend time there. You know the well, basketball yeah. now one sport where it play the old court they turn America at that moment. Exactly. In fact, I give you one quick story. Where we begin the team. Now the guy, you know, he be play solo music, and I was like, Yeah, it's good and all that. I said, Me man, play some hip hop because basketball goes with hip hop, and you just see the reaction out of all man, man, they begin bounce the head, they're like, Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you know the environment and the sports, um, yeah. and it's it's a good thing. We're very proud yeah. of you, sister. Yeah. Keep up the good yeah. work. So.
Samba, you're always welcome in the show. Of course, as San, I mean, I'm a special journalist, always follow him and make sure say, we try for pushing Kenya because in Peru, they don't spend a lot of money and it's so sure. good for them in Kenya and not go more than Usai Edorich. We're comfortable with how they play now, but we want them for reach the higher peak. Further, further, so higher until right. then, we go join Samba back next time before the second oh. free time crossover. And Asan go talk to we maybe before Sierra Leone beat Cape Verde. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, it, then. thanks for joining me guys see you bye bye appreciate it thank you appreciate it thank you guys so much talk to you soon bye bye <laughs>